Usually a sellout of over 14,000 tonight may not be the case with students on the break for the holidays. So the tip is controlled by the Huskies. Chris Darty at the top of the arc. Darty a transfer from Notre Dame. And John, look for him to be able to operate there at the top. Basically, they play five guards. You could put Groves at forward, but... What, what they do is they really space the floor extremely well. Yeah, he's averaging 11 and a half points per game. That's second on the team. Masai Troutman for three, and he's got it. So Northeastern with two threes. Well, McNeely is really a key for this Virginia team because they need him and Groves also to catch and shoot and knock down jump shot. For a moment by Dumb, but then punched away. Northeastern on the break. Pridgen takes it. Last year's freshman of the year in the Summit League. Good drive by Beekman. He gets the rebound for the putback. That ends a scoring drought of over four and a half minutes. It's hard to get your defense set the way you want when, when you're not scoring the basketball. Because a lot of times, and so far this Northeastern team has been in a lot of transition. And again, being able to attack the basket. You just don't see people. Troutman. Good bounce pass and the reverse land. Boy, that was pretty ball movement. And get to the rim easily. Buchanan, the jump hook, and gets the hometown roll. Northeast is not shy. They're two for nine from three point range. Virginia is 0 for three. McNeely with his first two points of the ball game. Northeastern is initiating their offense a lot further out than when they did in the first three, four minutes of the game. How about the rebounding edge, Perry? Plus 12 for Northeastern. Pridgen planted it on the Blaze baseline. <laughs> yeah, that's something definitely Virginia is going to have to really work on and straighten up. Dunn and Gertrude, if those guys really attack the basket. It gives this Virginia team a, in the basket. They get into the foul line. And, uh, you know, they, they're going to have to work for this win. The jumpers stemming the tide for the Huskies. Second meeting between these two schools. The last one in 1989, won by Virginia. A dribble by Darty and the crafty lay-in by Darty and Northeastern lead to seven. Well, I think you know, a lot of times Virginia will double the post, but where Darty's getting the ball from is not a normal double situation as Beekman goes in there and scores. Something against Virginia. It's rebounding. Minus 2.4 rebounding against the opposition. Beekman the fadeaway, and he's got it. He's in double figures with 10. Cut a couple times. You have a tendency to go underneath the screens. McNeely had a rough first half, and he misses the bunny. Here comes the Huskies. Joe Pridgen, nine points and seven rebounds in the first half. The baseline drive is good. This way against Virginia with this sort of consistency, as you see. Rody to Beekman. Guarded by Woods, and he blows by him for the dunk. What an athletic move by Reese Beekman. Trying to bring Virginia back as they're getting stunned at home, but get back into this one further. I'm surprised that off the transition, they haven't run more drag screens to try to get Beekman downhill. How about this Bond dunk? He has six points and a good pass again by Rody. And he's a much better scorer than that. So a three by Turner. He has three three-pointers and five attempts. Has it been a changeup on the defensive end for Virginia as Darty tries to shovel the pass and the turnover is forced. Beekman's got it. Well, they've got, there you see Virginia in transition, but they're going underneath the screens and they're not giving back cuts up. Yeah, integrating this young man with his talent and his athleticism, uh, I felt they, they can get him some one-on-one -on -one off some flare action. Bateman the back door, and Dunn has another dunk. Pridgen. 
Good defense by Dunn, but Pridgen gets it back, and he lays it in. Joe Pridgen, his first two of the second half. He has 11. He's been outstanding. Guarded by Groves. He takes it. Nice move. Can't convert. Dunn grabs the rebound, and here's Beekman with it. Shot clock off. Virginia has a chance to win it. This has got to be Beekman. Some sort of ball screen. Here he comes. Beekman the take and the make <laughs> with 5.1 remaining. So a timeout by the Huskies with 3.1 remaining. But Reese Beekman, an All-American move. Looks like Virginia, you know, my old coach Morgan Wooten used to say, sometimes you learn an expensive lesson inexpensively. And this was one of those lessons, I think, for this Virginia team. And that guy's happy to walk away with the win. Yeah, what a scare.